Hi there. In this video, we will learn about the elasticity of scale of translow production function. In our last video, we understood about the translow production function. Now it is the next topic in the same dimension. If you haven't subscribed, you may subscribe to this channel, and you may like this video if you find it useful. And also press the bell icon so that you get updated whenever a new video is uploaded. So in this series of the quantitative economics. We are now focusing on the elasticity of scale of the translog production function. We know that the elasticity of scale is about the percentage change in the output due to equal change in the all of the inputs. This is the basic definition of elasticity of scale. Now we remind ourselves with the basic uh, form of the translog production function in its two input case, that is labor and capital. Now we take the total differential. Of this uh, translog production function, you can see total differential is taken. So we have the differential sign on both sides of the equation. So in the next step, the differential shows its effect. This is the total differential of a variable which is in logarithmic form. That is the differential of that term and the original variable in the denominator. Now on this side, this doesn't have any variable, so it disappears as its value will reduce to zero after differential. For this, beta l will be treated as a coefficient and it will remain outside. For natural log of uh, log, uh, labor, the answer would be this, that is the differential of natural log of labor is equal to this. This we can recall by understanding the basic rules of differentials when it comes to natural logarithm of the variable. Then uh, beta k remains as it is because it is a coefficient whereas the differential of the log of capital will give us this answer. And then we have beta LL which will remain as it is but this uh, natural log of L holds here will give us 2 and then reduction of 1 in its power and then DL over L as a product of it. Now we have the same process on this term where natural log of capital is being treated and then we have beta LK multiplied with this product of the natural log of the two variables. So beta LK remains outside because it is a coefficient whereas here we take the uh, differentials turn by turn because these are two terms getting multiplied. So primarily uh, the natural log of labor is uh, taken the differential of whereas natural log of capital remains as it is and here natural log of labor is kept as it is where natural log of capital is taken the differential of. And in the next step, we simplify the things and when we simplify, uh, this uh, beta LK gets multiplied with both of these terms separately. After that, we recall that the returns to scale actually requires that the change in the inputs is the same. It means that the percentage change in labor will be equal to the percentage change in capital and both of them can be represented with the same notation as both of them are equal to each other. So instead of labor and capital, we are using I, that is generally speaking, input. So wherever we have DL over L and DK over K, we can write DI over I. This is the first place. Instead of DL over L, we have DI over I. And instead of DK over K, we have DI over I. And in the same way, we have substituted DI over I in all of those places, wherever we had DK over K or DL over L. So after this, we know that this can be taken as a common factor, that is di over i. So we have taken it as a common factor. And the remaining terms, they are kept as they are. And then this term appears in the denominator on the left hand side. And we are left with this value on the right hand side, which actually is showing the elasticity of scale because it is the percentage change in output due to the percentage change in the inputs. So finally, this is the result. And we can say that this is the elasticity of scale for our translog production function. So in this video, we have learned that how the elasticity of scale of the translog production function can be calculated. I hope you have learned in it and I hope you will like it. Thank you.